I am top Orlando realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. We're out at 910 East Pine Street, Orlando, Florida, 32801 here in the Lawsona Historic District. Literally steps from Thornton Park and downtown Orlando. And the purpose of this video is to give you what you can't see. If you just look at the best pictures online on Realtor.com, Krulia, Zillow, Zillow, Redfin. How do I know that? Because if you've seen those pictures, I'm the one who took and posted those. So people call and say, well, what's the neighborhood really like? Neighborhood is amazing. The three rules of real estate. Location, number two, location. Number three, location. If you look over here, through the trees you can see the Orlando skyline maybe but it's right there that's your neighbor across the street that is not shabby this particular house is two or three bedrooms one bath built in 1925 cutest little bungalow you can literally walk to downtown got that brick street which everybody wants got those high-end neighbors those houses that are nice, matter of fact, that are nicer than this one, which is again, what everybody wants. Everyone wants to buy a house like that in a neighborhood like this. Right there, we've got one, two, three lots down. Got a big vacant lot. If you're feeling into some green pea space. And of course, we've got no HOA. Hardly ever get anyone call me and say, can you find me a house with an HOA? I really like that. All right, why are we walking down here? Because we're coming up on Thornton Avenue. Anyone who's ever even looked at a map of downtown Orlando, seen Thornton Avenue, the corner of Thornton Avenue and Pine. So this is on the top of the street map there, the Lake Lasona Historic District. And this is the aptly named Lake Lasona, or the Historic District is named after the lake or the chicken and the egg. So why are we down here? Well, it's literally four or five lots down from your house, and this goes all the way around the lake. In the middle of the afternoon now, there's always people walking out here, down here, to enjoy this view. Okay, we were just over there. This is the kind of view that you get every day why there's so many cars going by well because just right over the corner you can't hear it but just right there is the expressway on ramp which means you can be on the expressway in less than 120 seconds at a pulling out of your driveway be to i4 in about three or four minutes be at coco beach in 40 minutes you could be at disney in 30 minutes be at the airport in 20 minutes and of course downtown Orlando in about zero minutes because you're here right now. So as we're walking back to our property right over there, it's important to get a nice side view of this house. You're not gonna put that up now, but under our three rules, location, 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 what you want is a property with the future. Hold on to this, I mean, we're downtown Orlando. This will all be skyscrapers like in Blade Run in another 50 years. And one day, someone's gonna take that house and turn it into that house. And the cost for this house in today's money is gonna seem like the down payment on the future house. People are gonna say, I cannot believe I got this house in this location at this great price. Let's walk to the other side. Okay, we're just over there where our subject property is. We're now at the corner of Pine and Higher, H-Y-E-R, and right there are downtown Orlando condos. That's where downtown Orlando is, right around that corner. You can literally walk to Thornton Park and the Thornton Park restaurants. Look at those houses. These are the kind of neighbor, this is the neighborhood that you wanna be in. So what's the number one reason that stops people from being in this amazing location, downtown Orlando and all these expensive houses? The answer is all these houses are pretty expensive. All your neighbors are very well funded. So what you'd like to do 
ideally is get one of the smallest, most affordable houses in the neighborhood. Oh, this is it. One of the smallest, most affordable houses in the neighborhood to get you in to this high-end downtown central location. All right, there's your neighbor's house. There's your house. This house here was built in 1925. It says right on the door, the effective year built as far as the public records go, it's 1970. It's 1,196 square feet, 1,646 square feet, including the slab that we'll call it 1,200 square feet living area. Now you got this gate, which closes with a little key fob. So you've got security, got a house on a crawl space, like most of them are. Got unit ACs from a long time ago, but there's a nice central AC that's just been installed. Just a year or two ago this house has been in the same family for 50 years and the best part is it's zoned r2a what does that mean we'll see that carport there that is actually zoned so you could build a garage apartment so buy this house at a low low price and then one day, you want to invest by building a garage apartment back here, turn that into a rental, offset the cash flow, make a fortune on this house. Nice trees. Got a storage area here, covered storage area, carport. And many, many years ago, this was owned by the same family bought by the same family together so right down the way here is the property line it's a general rule of thumb it probably goes right to where the high part of that fence is right down here through there so unless you want to share with this family which you could eventually you could put a fence here for even more privacy but right now it's kind of a shared living area backyard you know it's hard to imagine that for this price you could build a garage apartment back there get the extra income the extra value on the property where else can you do that in central Florida taxes last year were only thirty two hundred and fifty seven dollars may go up a bit after you buy it Got all the features and the character like living in a bed and breakfast. Walk out here. As we talked about, property line goes right down there. You can leave it open or you can fence it. Got the swing like you see in a Disney movie. And then we walk inside. Welcome home. Of course, we've got those original oak floors. Kind of floors that you can't buy anymore. I wanted to get floors like that in my house. Found out these places I shop can't even get those. So I'm sure these go back a hundred years. We've got a fireplace that's decorative right now. This is the main living area. Now, at one time, there was a second story. I think many years ago, a tree fell on the house, and they totally rebuilt the roof and everything, but they didn't add on to the second story. So this goes up to a area where you can uh, storage. It's got wood on the floor. Keep lots of stuff up there, like Grandma's attic. Got a kitchen. It's about you expect. The house built in 1925. Nice sink, refrigerator, almost brand new. And you walk through here, and this would either be a third bedroom or a family room. Look at that ceiling. That is beautiful.
good view of your domain. Now there's a door right there that goes to the master bedroom. You can either put books back over it or take the bookshelves out and have a door that goes straight in. Now we look in here. There we go. Got an inside washer and dryer. Inside the air conditioning. That is good looking. All right, we got two bedrooms here. Bedroom number one. This bedroom has got carpet. I'm sure you could put flooring in if you wanted. That's the door that we saw on the other side. It's been turned into a bookshelf. Got the closet just like you'd expect. A house built in 1925. And then we have this cute bathroom. Look at that. Electrical panel, which has been updated. And bedroom number two. That glowing wood floors again. So if you were even thinking about this house or a house here in Lasona Historic District or in downtown Orlando, I want you to call me, Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Sound and Country, 407-339-3200. I'll be here all year.